Blue job for no more blue pipe blues. Fastest way to use blue job, use a good random orbital sander. I tried this cheap random orbital, it's not nearly as fast though. say that's pretty fast. Burn on shoe rubber. Usually I like to ask them about what kind of bike they have and I like hearing about their $600 set of brand new pipes and their $50,000 bike. Music to my ears actually. Uh, just use Blue Job. The good thing about Blue Job, you can use it on your new chrome or old chrome it ain't gonna scratch. For the real tough jobs, use it thicker than toothpaste, a little less water. For the fast cleaning and polishing of new chrome, use a little more water, milkier. Might as well get that rest up there while we're at it. There you go. Get some blue job for chrome so bright you gotta wear shades. I know, you've been shopping a plastic bag burned on there. <laughs> Sorry. Using blue job, one of the side effects, besides not scratching chrome, is well, it takes off the rust. But yeah, enough of that. You got the idea. Hey, support your local motorcycle shop. If they don't have blue job, they can get it right in. I'm going to show you how to clean this pipe. With blue job chrome polish. Here's the powder. This is a soft cloth that comes in the jar. You provide the water or spit. This is the big cloth and same ones in the jar, but bigger. Here's that big random orbital finishing sander. Use a ground fault interrupter so you don't get shocked. Blue job pipe wipes fit great on that Velcro. Real nice. A little bit of water. Some powder. seconds. Use a tiny bit of water, barely damp, spit on it, dip it in the powder, make a real thick paste for the tough jobs. I use a lot. Make it real thick, drier than toothpaste, and then concentrate on a small spot the size of a coin until you see it breaking through. Fourteen seconds. So I use this pine pencil behind the cloth. You can get them at the hardware store and make it real thick, just like that. Go to work.
dude asked me, so what's the active ingredient? Uh, your elbow. Here's some pitted chrome with some iron rusting through. It's going to be good. I'm just cleaning one spot to show you something really cool. Here's your chrome without blue job. Rain hits it, beads it up, and leaves water spots. That's where the blue job was. It's so clean, there's no wax, so sheeting effect lets the rain flatten right out and sheet off. No more water spots. Fingerprints and dust don't stick to it either. Here's some rest for you. Here's a pipe cover. Yeah, they get rusty. There's that squeak. That's what you want here. Greasy fingerprints, you've seen them. Every time you install a new set of pipes, be sure and clean them with Blue Job and get all that factor oil and your fingerprints off there before you start that engine so you don't burn them in. Once you do get them though, you can get them off either by hand or with power tool with Blue Job. We can thank the Germans for inventing polishes back in the 1500s. They still use an abrasive cutting material in them to make those sparkly little swirly scratches and some wax to fill in the scratches for a while and some oil to shine and shake well. I've heard claims that that's some kind of protectant. Well, chrome is pretty hard stuff. and. It's there to cover the iron underneath and keep it from rusting. Just riding, you get some pits. And rust comes right through. Will your pipes get blue again? Well, if you leave your choke on at a stoplight or your bike's out of tune, it's going to get blue again. Just use Blue Job. You got new chrome? Don't scratch it. Use Blue Job as a cleaner. Use it a little bit thinner. Got scratches from old chrome polishes? Well, sorry. Blue Job doesn't scratch, so you can't take them out. That's about the only thing you can't take off. Blue Job removes rust, bluing, boot marks, water spots, fingerprints, and leaves nothing behind but the shine. <laughs>
Then the lion tied me. 